Hey guys, welcome back to the Cullico YouTube channel where we do all things fabrication, engineering, and design. I'm really excited for today's video because it's video one of a new YouTube series. It's the KC1200 series. It's going to document every single part of my next custom motorcycle project. Next to me is the KC900. This is the bike that I built last year. I used a 900cc Ironhead Sportster engine for this project. The next build is going to be the KC1200. That's going to be a 1200cc Sportster engine. I'm actually using a 2000 Buell Cyclone engine, which essentially is a Harley Davidson Evolution Sportster engine, but it has updated flywheels, cams, and a more aggressive cylinder head package. On video one today, we're going to be doing something very exciting. We're going to be 3D scanning the 1200 Buell engine that I have. Once I have it as a 3D model in my CAD program, I can then design and engineer the rest of the bike around the engine. Then once that's done, I can actually start building and fabricating parts. So I just picked up the Einstar 3D scanner off of Amazon. So I've been drawing on CAD for several years, but I have not owned my own 3D scanner. So in the past, when I needed things scanned, such as engines, on several occasions, I've had to drive to different cities and actually pay a little more than I'd like to to get things scanned. So I'm hoping that this is a very good investment for me. I have not used this yet, but I'm very excited to get it set up and I'm going to document in this video using it for the first time and my thoughts is the first time that I use it. It comes in this very nice protective case. Um, everything is packaged really well and secured. This is going to be fun. All right, so we've got the engine loaded up in the back of the truck. I'm actually gonna take this to a friend's shop about 20 minutes away where we have the perfect area set up to do the scanning. More of a sterile environment and they have a very robust computer over there to run that scanner efficiently. I love our new toy. <laughs> you can capture you got a couple of uh, yeah, yeah. marks from yeah. uh, very handsome young lad. All right, so more of a serious note. So here's the finished product in the Einstar program. As you can see, we did pretty well for our first go around, but we learned a lot. The primary cover in the cases scanned in really well. So we uploaded it to CAD. Bang, there it is. Looking pretty, ready for a chassis, suspension, and bodywork to be wrapped around it.
So I wanted to give you guys a final consensus of the first go around using the Einstar 3D scanner. Overall, I'm very pleased with the performance of this product. I've only used it one time, so I'm gonna learn way more moving forward. What I will say is the setup was easy and the actual process of scanning a part was relatively easy to get the hang of. Now we found that having your part clean is important. Also having sufficient lighting all the way around the part when you're scanning is also important. Lastly, to get the most optimal scan, you're gonna wanna use a dissolvable paint. And from what I understand, what that does is it kind of takes the sheen away from the surface and makes all of the surfaces on the part consistent and the scan will be much more pure and defined and accurate. Now, we didn't have that on this first scan, but when we started learning this, we were trying like an aerosol cleaner spray on the surface to kind of dull it up and give it some consistency. And when we started doing that, the scan came in uh, much nicer. All in all, for $1,000 on Amazon, the Einstar portable handheld 3D scanner is definitely a win in my book and it gets my approval. So if you guys have been thinking about getting a scanner or have a use for one yourselves, I would definitely recommend this product and I think you'll be happy as well. That's gonna conclude video one of the KC1200 series, Scanning the Engine. Thank you for watching. I hope you're able to get some value and learn something. I know I did and we'll see you on the next one.